In this video, we're going to be looking at a shoe that is claimed to last over a thousand kilometers. I'm going to tell you the things I like about the shoe and some things I don't like about the shoe. So let's get stuck in. What is up, everybody, and welcome to Budget Shoe HQ here at 40 Ways. Yes, we like cheap running shoes and We've got these, the Kipron KS900 on the channel, which I'm kind of excited about because I do like a budget shoe. Now, like I said at the open, I'm going to tell you the things I like about this shoe and things I don't like about this shoe. But before we do that, we're going to do the stats and features because, believe it or not, they claim this thing can last a thousand kilometers. Now, before we get into that, have you subscribed to this YouTube channel? No? Come on, guys, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification, and now we can move on to the real part of the video. Okay, so the KS900 from Kipron or Decathlon, um, I bought this out of my own money by the way, is $89.99 here in the UK. And look at the outsole on it. I can see why they claim that it will last a thousand kilometers because it's got like, an, well, I don't know what the depth is, but it's an absolute beast in terms of the outsole. It, re it really is. Um, but let's do stats and features. Let's get into what's going on here and say, and then we'll talk about this thousand kilometer claim. Okay, so the shoe's got an 8mm drop, 29mm stack in the heel. Uh, we've got the M foam cushioning, which is uh, an EVA based foam. Uh, we've got this like mesh upper, which is uh, cheapish feeling. Uh, we've got a nice comfortable heel and uh, tongue. Uh, good lacing, actually. Uh, the tongue is gusseted. We've got a little cheeky pull tab on the back. The shoe weighs 9.75 ounces, 277 grams. Uh, what else do you need to know? Oh, it's got a very wide platform on it, really wide in fact. And I would argue, maybe probably with myself, but it's, is it stable guidance-ish? Probably not, but it is a stable platform. Let's, let's call it that. The width of it combined with the M cushion that's quite firm, I'll come onto that in a bit, uh, actually provides quite a stable ride. And it reminded me of the Puma Forever Run Nitro. Not the sort of feedback from the uh, Nitro foam, but the overall sort of width and, and stable-ish feeling underfoot. Uh, I think that's it in terms of stats and features. Fits true to size. I told you it's 90 pounds or 89.99. And I think, yeah, that's probably it in terms of stats and features. So yeah, uh, Decathlon, Kipron, whatever you want to call, claim this shoe can last a thousand kilometers. Um, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of miles out of this. This is really some heavy duty stuff going on here. Also with this foam, the M cushion, it's, it's definitely a firm ride when you start with it, okay? Now, what have we done, what have we done? We've gotta be, yeah, let's, let's say farm and say 30 miles in the shoe, um, probably just a fraction under that. And it's already uh, starting to feel a pinch softer. When you put these shoes on for the first time, you think, oh my God, what have I got here? But they do come to you, yeah? This is a foam that is, is designed to last for a long time combined with the outsole, okay? So it does come to you, but you will stick this on and go, Jesus, that's firm. And it is firm. But I think how it's meant to work is the fact that it will slowly but surely break in. And as I said, even after the, you know, these limited moles that I've done in the shoe, it's already starting to feel a pinch softer. Now I think to get a shoe at 90 quid that's claimed to last for a thousand kilometers is brilliant. I really do, as an everyday shoe, it's brilliant. That's what you want, right? You're getting value here. And we're talking about value on this channel quite a lot at the moment because of what's going on in the world. And I think really, you, you know, something like this is definitely something to consider. If you're going to get a thousand kilometers out of this and you're going to pay 90 pounds, well, yeah, I think you've got to consider it. Now, look, let's get back into reality because most of you are shoe geeks like me and you're going to go, what is he recommending a decathlon shoe? Well, Bear with me, because there's some good things here and there's some bad things. Well, I think obviously one of the best positives out of the shoe is this, you know, durability claim. Whether that'll get to a thousand kilometers, who knows? Um, and the fact of the outsole and everything about it, the wide fit of it as well, which is good. Uh, the upper's okay. You know, it's it's not cheap feeling. Um, I've seen some shoes like. Uh, the Salomon upper, you know, is probably about the same, and that's 150 pounds that shoe. So, you know, you're getting good value for money out of 90 pounds for this shoe but obviously this thing has got limited versatility is this a shoe that you could run a marathon in no is this a shoe you could run a half marathon in 
Maybe yes, actually, but you could definitely do your training for it. Uh, would you go super long in it? No. Would you go six mile, 10K, you know, jog down the river? Yeah. Would you do three miles on a treadmill in it? Yeah. Would you do park run in it? Yeah. So that's the sort of thing. It offers that versatility up to a point. And again, goes back to my original uh, thing, what I was saying, 1,000 kilometers, 90 pounds. So look, this, this M foam cushioning is not gonna you know, light you up. It's not gonna make you feel completely awesome. You're not gonna feel like Kipchoge running along in it. Um, it it's quite firm, but it, you know, it's better or you know, on par with some of the terrible shoes you get from Nike. You know, a, a wind flow, you know, which has got that full air unit in it. Yeah, it's probably a little bit softer, but you know, that, you're gonna get just a similar sort of ride here, I would say. Now that's a strong claim, but again, 90 pounds, 1,000 kilometers, yeah? Um, yeah, you know what? Actually, that's a really good point. You think of some of the terrible shoes out there from some of the brands that weigh an absolute ton and cost like over a hundred pounds. This shoe at 90 pounds is definitely something to consider if you're like a, <laughs> love this terminology, hobby jogger, which there's nothing wrong to be a hobby jogger. If you just want a run because you like want to lose a bit of weight for your mental health or whatever it is, or you just want to go down and do a social run at your local club, you know, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong here at 90 pounds. Yes, you can pick some of last year's models up or the year before models up, and, and they're gonna be amazing, right? And I'm not comparing this against some of the, you know, the latest, flashiest shoes from like Puma, Asics, and New Balance, okay? I'm looking at this purely as a value proposition. And that's, I think, what you've got to get out of this video, is that we've got a shoe here that's costing 89.99, that's apparently gonna last for a thousand kilometers. Yes, it's not the, the, the sexiest thing in the world. Yes, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but you know, it's under 10 ounces. It's a wide fitting shoe and, and it's gonna do, you know, the job if you wanna just do a bit of running.